This morning, France is waking up after another night of clashes around the country in Lille and Toulouse and predictably here in Nanterre, the Paris suburb that was the catalyst for all the disorder that has followed. Behind me over there, you can see fires burning in the middle of the street. We can see riot police officers there and in fact just walking past us here and the smell of tear gas still lingers. This is not going to end easily. And why? Well, because this area and all of France has now seen that video of a French police officer shooting a teenager in a car just a mile or so from where I'm standing. Now that has been condemned by the president, by the interior minister, by prominent individuals, including Kylian Mbappe, the super famous French footballer who grew up also in a French suburb. And what has happened is a synthesis of all the discontent by people who live here about what they see as the brutality of the police, about the way that they think that the system has forgotten them, hasn't given them jobs or education, has left them behind in the economy. And that discontent has clearly simmered and boiled over here, driven by the fury over the killing of this 17 year old. What will now happen is a march uh, from the Prefecture here in Nanterre, led by the mother uh, of the teenager who died. The question here in Nanterre and for all of France is whether this discontent will continue or whether it will simmer out. And right now, nobody knows the answer to that.